the reason Kamala Harris is not getting into more depth about all of her possible programs, because I think if people find out, they're not going to be happy about it. I hope that Kamala will win in the end. Mm -hmm. What would be the policies that you affect you most that, that drive you to vote for Kamala Harris? Now, I'll be honest. I haven't paid enough attention to know her specific polities. It, it does seem like she's been there for the middle class, which a lot of my family is. So. All right, joining us now with Reaction is ESPN host, the one and only Stephen A. Smith. Do you want to get it out of the way now, oh, how hard your life is, Lord. that you have to defend your, the fact that you, you admit that you're friends with me? you want to get that out of the way at the beginning or at the end? No, Just I, ask I, I, it. I, I, I don't need to get that out of the way. The, the, the public knows that already. You get on my nerves. I don't agree with you 75% of the time, but you're still my buddy. <laughs> you know, I feel bad for you half the time with some of the takes you give, but I'm here to help you out anyway. What's going on, Sean? Okay. All right. I, I always say, you say to me, stay in my lane when I talk sports, stay in your lane on politics. However, there, there's something amazing. Putting aside any demographic group, if you are going to attack okay. them, you want them to vote a certain way. And you are going to suggest that they are sexist or misogynistic. If you're going to suggest, like Stacey Abrams did, that African-American men are racist and, and sexist, um, is that a good way to, to, to encourage people to vote the way you'd like them to vote? No, but I, I didn't hear Stacey. I didn't hear Stacey Abrams speaking that way. As a matter of fact, she talked about how black men do vote. Black men do support Kamala Harris. Black men do support a lot of the Democrats and what have you. She's absolutely right about that. You know, I spoke against uh, President Barack Obama, uh, who I know you don't like that, but I admire and respect this man. I did not like what he had to say at that particular clip that you showed, and I spoke out about it on my show, the Stephen A. Smith Show, and I'm unapologetic about that because I know, by and large, black men have all Always supported black women. That's a fact. That's a point of fact. Now that doesn't mean that there isn't some misogyny that does exist amongst a few in our community. But I think that when we looked at this election, this election that's forthcoming, and we see Kamala Harris going up against Donald Trump, I don't think it's right to point to that as a reason why it's a nip and tuck race and why she isn't receiving the support that she deserves. And that is why I spoke out against what he had to say on that particular issue because I was refuting what he was saying. I don't believe that to be the case at all when it comes to her. All right. So let's stay on, on Kamala Harris for a second here. Um, Democrats are in a state of panic. All, all the momentum seems to be going to Donald Trump. I told you this would happen in a private conversation mm -hmm. we had. You were skeptical. I think I was proven right. You know sports I better still than am. I do. I think I know politics. I, I, I know. You do. Uh, but here's my question for you. You did call her out early. And you said mm -hmm. she's making a mistake not doing interviews. Now, she does right. these interviews, and I argue to you that the reason she's struggling and she can't, she's like tied up as a, in a pretzel, because she can't express what she has stated publicly, that she wants the Green New Deal, the elimination of the filibuster. She can't say she wants to eliminate private health insurance, as she has said in the past. She's not going to run on what she has stated in the past to decriminalize the illegal immigration, free, free food, housing, health care, education, sex change operations, and, and a path to citizenship, or banning fracking, banning offshore drilling. So she has to... Mm -hmm. You know, give us word salads because she won't tell us how she really feels. She's hiding her true beliefs. Well, Donald Trump doesn't do that. Well, first of all, that's. Well, first of all, that's a very long question. Let's get to it. Number one, yeah, you talk I'm about what a she's point. doing. Bottom line is this. As, as vice president of the United States, it's not. it wasn't her job to lead. She has to go along with the program. You are a support base. You support the person that is in charge, who happened to be Joe Biden. That's number one. Number two, I know you're not talking about somebody being lucid and cogent and enunciating their thoughts with clarity, and you're bragging about Donald Trump. We can't be watching the same stuff oh, if that's what you're doing. Oh, you ain't going to do that today. You know now, what? Lindsey Graham, hold it. Now, Senator yeah. Lindsey Graham oh, is about today. to come on this show. Let me tell you now, something. that man can articulate himself sat very with well. Him. Not Donald Trump now. I have, okay, I have sat with him for hour after hour after hour, topic after topic after topic, and he is so dialed in. Uh, I, 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 he, really? Look, you know, it's funny. People try, this is like Ain't the he canceling press conferences? And meanwhile, and meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, your friends in the Democratic Party, they ignored the obvious, significant, deep cognitive decline of the president for over four years. I said it before the 2020 election. Kamala to this day say, oh, Joe was really cognitively alert. Mm -hmm. You know that's a crock. I know that's a crock. What is Everybody she supposed to say, Sean? knows it's a crock. Not Sh Donald Trump. Sean, what is it? What, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is she supposed to say? She's supposed to sit up there and say, you know what, my president, my <laughs> the boss. Truth. I mean, there was how cognitive about, decline how about the there. Truth? No, you're not. No, you you don't, tell the you truth don't on do your that. Show? You don't dime out your boss. You don't, you listen, don't. I do tell the truth on you my don't? show, but guess what? So I said I do. I said I do. What I said, however, you know is that makes I'm you not going to dime out I'm my boss tell you. if that's my boss. Go Whoa. ahead. Hang on a second. You know what? I have never watched you hold back. You 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 say what I'm you mean. You back. mean what you say. That's my yes. point. She is. But, she knew she out. knew he was a cognitive mess and now she's lying. Oh no. I never noticed it. It's a because crock. Sean it's a lie. because Sean what Just you're trying to it's because, a lie. because what people but because what? Uh, listen, I personally uh, listen. I, a year earlier, I was saying there's slippage. There's something that ain't there. He ain't gonna make it to the election. Y'all better get with the program. No. Do something about it. I was on the record about Joe Biden, but I'm not a part but of the Biden administration. Else? And if I was a part of the Biden administration, I wouldn't have told you that. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, she's the candidate <laughs> now. You, know you got to run against her. Are you yeah. gonna beat her, Sean? Are you gonna beat her? Are you gonna they are. are you gonna beat He's her? Gonna, it's, it's a it's, straight are you up. It's straight up. Trump, the American people. Are you as confident as you were months the ago? The biggest choice Are you election confident as you in was a months ago? I see some slippage on but his part. Stephen A. Stephen A. Let me tell you something. Yes. She lied when she said the the uh, the inflation's transitory. They lied repeatedly, and she said, "Oh no, the border's secure. The border's secure." Now Are you all sure? of a sudden, she, Are you sure now, you want to make the now, case about somebody lying now, in favor of Trump? She never changed her sure positions on. She never changed her position on the Green New Deal, on sex change operations, open borders, amnesty, until she became a candidate. You know what that means? She is a typical Fair. politician to just will say whatever needs to be said to win an election. Okay. You get the last word because I Can like I you so much. Can I retort? Let me let me yeah. let me retort. Fair enough. Okay. You didn't even bring up fracking. You didn't even bring up the border. That's absolutely a valid point on your part. What she's doing now is saying, "Excuse me, I'm open to compromise. I'm willing to work across the aisle. I'm willing to listen and make things happen." Now you have a lot of people who are going to vote for Trump, and they absolutely positively believe he will change Washington. The question is, will it be for better or will it be for worse? The cesspool that we look at as the nation's capital. If you got him back in office yeah. and he's on a revenge tour and he's not focused on doing what it takes to lead the country. Where will that lead the country? You're not bringing that part up. So again, we might not like something on the left. We might not like something on the right. These are the two candidates that we've got to work with. And when you bring up issues in terms of character or in terms of being truthful or whatever, let me tell you something right now. Right. You can bring a whole bunch of Republicans and I'll be cool with it. You can't you know bring up Trump to make a case against somebody else run. using those arguments. You can't do that. Look, you know what? I'm I'm predicting that privately you're gonna vote for Trump. Oh, then never. Never. <laughs> and I told you I'm on the record. I'd have voted almost for any Republican but him. I'm okay. They, 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 okay. Nikki Haley, Chris right, Christie, right, I would have voted right. for them. I'm not, so, to set not you him. Off. I gotta not go. Him. I love you, Stephen A. God bless you. And I don't have to defend Take it easy, my bro. relationship with you. you all right. We'll you see don't. you later. You don't. All right, with early but I voting do. under. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.